Hey YouTube, I'm Sanj. Welcome back to my channel, Sanj Designs. And in this video, I've just bought the Lorex Smart Doorbell System. So I'm going to show you how to do the installation. I'm going to be doing a test, an honest review, but I'm going to show you a serious security flaw that you need to be aware of if you decide to purchase one of these doorbell systems. Stay tuned. Right, so welcome back. So what we've got is a traditional doorbell um, and it's the old system and you can hear it ringing. So it just works on a Freeland uh, bell type system. So I'm gonna replace it. It's only gonna be temporary because it is a nice doorbell, but when we get our new uh, intercom system, then I'll put it back because we don't really need it then. So as I mentioned, I've got the new Lorex system, which is here. Uh, most of you are familiar with Ring, I've gone for Lorex because I'm getting a Lorex CCTV system, which I'll show in another video. So I wanted to see how easy it was to fit and also how it integrates with the CCTV system. So let's just have a quick look what's inside the box. You've got your main doorbell. You've got instruction manual. You've got your brackets. Uh, there's three brackets, straight, vertical, and horizontal. You've got um, different cables. So you've got a cable for the chime and you've got an extension cable for the main wire. You've got a USB cable and a small drill. Um, you've got some screws and some fixings and some caps. And then you've got a chime adapter. And this is basically a transformer that means you can use existing chimes, existing bells with the Lorex system and the 12, 16 to 24 volt system. So that's the system unboxed. Right, so I've removed the bell pusher from the actual housing and there's a decorative um, piece of wood around it. And I was gonna take all of this off and then put the bell straight on top. But the problem is when you take it out, what you'll see is it's actually domed and there's no way I'm gonna try and fill that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this back, put that back in there, and I'm gonna put the Lorex on top of that. Not ideal, but as I said, it is temporary, and it will do for now. So the Lorex system needs to be wired, so it needs 16 to 24 volts. But most bell systems are anywhere between eight to 12. So what I've done is put a meter on here, and you'll see it's showing around about 12 volts AC, which isn't gonna be enough. So I need to replace the transformer and I'll show you how I do that. So here we have the original uh, bell transformer and I'm gonna replace that with a new one that's rated for our Lorex bell system. So you can see it goes up to 24 volts, which is what we need. So I'm gonna take that one off and replace it with this one. But obviously it's live and I'm just using little electrical tester so we always make sure the system's dead so we've got a fuse board right above and you can see the doorbell so I'm going to flick that off test it and it's showing it's dead so what I'm going to do is just unclip and then basically you've got your live and, live and neutral wires, remove those and replace those with the bell system at the top. So just really carefully unscrewing the wires. Make sure they stay apart. And similarly for the bell wires that go downstairs, I'm going to unscrew those. And I'm going to remove the transformer from where it's sitting. Right, that's the wires removed. And what you see is the previous owner managed to find one that had screws that could go through. 
Now, problem is the one I've got doesn't have screws going through. So what I've got here is a little bit of DIN rail. So I'm gonna attach it through onto a DIN rail and then secure that to the, basically the, the wood paneling. Right, so we've got the power in at the bottom, you're live and neutral. Now we're just gonna put in the actual bell wire, the output. So we've got zero here and we've got one going into 24 volts. So that's what's gonna give us our 24 volts. So we just need to branch these wires across, make sure they're insecure. And that is basically how simple it is to wire up the transformer. But make sure you isolate before you work on any electrics. Never work on a system live. Right, next important thing to remember is to disconnect any chimes or any bells that you've got on your old system. So this is an eight volt bell. If I put 24 volts through it, guess what? You're gonna fry it. So it's really important that you just disconnect it. So it might be a screw, um, might be something simple. So what I'm doing is just taking the, the main casing off. And I'm just basically just disconnecting these wires here. Just undo them. Uh, there's a transformer kit that you're gonna get and you're gonna add to it as you basically build the system up. So I've mounted the bracket uh, onto the original plate and the cables aren't quite long enough. So what I'm gonna use, um, I've connected at the back with the kit. You get these little extension cables and you get these little caps. So I'm just gonna join them together uh, and then we're gonna power it up. So I've connected the caps and I'm now just gonna put it into place. Make sure everything sits neatly behind and then flip it down. And that is the doorbell. Now I know it wouldn't look as nice if it was flush mounted, but it is a temporary measure. So we're gonna power it up and uh, see how it works. So that is a doorbell installed. Um, setup's fairly easy. Uh, you just basically download the Lorex app put in your Wi-Fi details, give it a name. You can also select things like zones, you can select notifications if you want notifications or not. It's quite a nice little bell feature that goes there as well. So that's the installation done. So, been living with the doorbell now for about three weeks. Tried it, tested it, and I'm gonna give you my honest review based on my findings. So on the positive side, camera's pretty good it's quite clear um, the light function i really like i think that's quite a nice function and it also works with the lorix app so the fact that i've got lorix cctv it works quite well and it works together with it so you've got one app for everything that's the only pros i can think of the cons far outweigh the pros so the things i don't like about the lorix doorbell is there's no external chime you cannot buy a chime a plug-in chime for the lorix doorbell system. So if you haven't got your phone with you, you will not hear the doorbell. So most other devices I've seen on the market, you can buy an external chime that links to the doorbell, but you can't with Lorix. I've not been able to find one. If you read the literature, it says compatible with Alexa. Well, trust me, I've tried connecting it with Alexa. I've been on the app several times. And as you can see here, despite me trying again and again, you go through the necessary route and it says cannot connect with Alexa cannot connect with Alexa. Well, what's the point of that? Notifications are an absolute headache to set up. Um, it took me a while to get the notifications actually working. And when the notifications actually work, it basically freezes regularly. So what happens is you just get this, sorry, there's a problem. Oops, there's a problem. So you can't actually see either who's at your door or actually who's actually been at your door. So that's a massive problem when you're trying to use a smart doorbell. Um, yesterday I had somebody ring the doorbell and I didn't actually get a notification until 27 minutes later. So my friend had actually left our door and gone home and by that time I got a notification saying there's somebody at your front door. That's pretty poor. Um, you can't actually, if you want to actually download the app and get the actual um, notifications on say a phone and an iPad, you can't do it on more than one device because it works on your email account and password but it says you cannot use more than one email account and password. So you have to set up a fake email address 
set up share and then send that to an iPad address and then set it up separately. It seems to me like a complete faff. Why would you want to do that if you've got a username and password? But the biggest issue I have with this so-called smart doorbell is it's not very secure. So A, it can be stolen really quickly. And as you can see here, all you need is a paper clip or the, the little pin that you get with your iPhone um, to take out the SD card tray. You can take out the, the phone, you can steal it fairly quickly. And because everything's stored on an SD card, not on the cloud, what happens is all the information is now stored on this device. So you think actually now it's stolen, it can be encrypted. Well, it's not. And what you can see here is you basically take out the SD card fairly quickly, and then you can then put this information into your laptop. So the device has been removed from the wall. It wasn't that difficult, as you saw earlier, the pin. And here you can see reset micro SD card. So the intention is what you would do is basically put your little pin in that set to there and that will reset it and reboot it. But the big flaw is you can actually really easily just remove the micro SD card. Take it out, can be a little bit fiddly. And there's your micro SD card. It's as simple as that. So if someone steals your doorbell, they can take your micro SD card, put it in an SD card adapter, slot that in, put it in the laptop, and they can see all of your images, unencrypted, no password, and they can see exactly what's been happening. Who's been coming at your door and roughly what time. Big security risk. If you're worried about stalking, if you're worried about antisocial behaviour, if you're worried about um, domestic violence, domestic abuse, all they need to do is basically steal your doorbell, take your memory card and see who's been coming at your door. Massive flaw and something that Lorex needs to fix and sort out. So the question is, do I keep this device? I paid £105 for it, Black Friday deal, and I bought it because I've got the Lorex CCTV system. So am I going to keep the device? The answer is no, based on the reason I've just given you. So it comes as no shock or surprise, I'm actually going to be installing a ring. Now I know that they're more expensive uh, in terms of subscription, but they are actually more reliable. Um, they're more secure, it's stored on the cloud. You can get things like your chimes and things like that. So not perfect, but the Lorex is going back and I'm going to be installing a ring system regardless. So, hope that was useful. Hope that gave you some honest advice around smart doorbells, particularly the Lorex system. Um, let me know what you think, if you've got one of these, did you realize that at the time? Um, but anyway, stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.